day pet check program. We travel all around the UK giving free health checks to dogs and advice on other animals. We visit locations ranging from country parks to shopping centres and offer invaluable advice on among other things diet and fitness and dental care to anyone who wants to pop along. We can see up to 60 to 70 dogs per day and offer advice from tips on exercise to spotting early warning signs of conditions that may need to be investigated by a vet. In short, we offer a service to help owners keep their pets happy, healthy and active. Today we are in Thetford. weight under here and, and all an excess weight all round up. These big hard lumps here, they're actually fat pouches. But everything looks fine, the gums don't look inflamed or anything. So th this is Bob. I rescued him earlier this year, about February time. Last few weeks, he's been showing some aggression towards my lab. All right, okay. Um, it sounds really like he's just trying to be dominant with the Labrador. Um, he's trying to say that he's the boss. Because um, he wants to, to get through the door first, out into the garden first, because he thinks it should be his domain first, oh, not, not the Labrador, because they work in, in a pack, um, yes. the dogs do. But it might be worth um, considering having him castrated if it's becoming a problem, particularly if he's starting to get very aggressive yes. with the Labrador, because yeah. um, obviously that will stop, stop any problems then. Some people just need answers to simple pet care questions while others need guidance on what they should or shouldn't be feeding their pets or when they need to consult their vet. It's very good. I've learned some things I didn't know about my little man. That he suffers from hay fever. <laughs> pet check really does provide peace of mind for pet lovers. Problems that I thought Bob had have just been explained to me and actually it makes total sense now. He's my company, my best friend. <laughs>